Hey, realists worldwide, all you lovely people. This is me just talking. It's January 24th. It was my birthday 10 days ago, and I am definitely feeling my age. And these are just some of my thoughts I've had through the day. It's been a long day. I went, let's start off on a bright note. I went and saw a little Manx cat that I put in an application for, this little six-month-old kitten called um, Bambi, but I might name her Una, like it means lamb and like Celtic or the Isle of Man. I don't know where names come from but all the time, but that's what I saw online and I liked it. I'm jumping on the, tr the bandwagon here, like Paul and Louie, Rossman, everybody has a black cat, but this cat has no tail, so it's a little bit different. <sighs> so what can I say? What can I say? You know, I've covered this so many times, I've talked about it in every which way, you know, from this perspective to that perspective, but living in acceptance is good enough. You guys are right. And that's where I'm at, but I still can't say that I'm not, I can't say that I'm not disappointed. And it was one of my most noble subscribers and Patreons who commented on one of my videos the other day, which I don't know if got filtered through or not, but I got it. And it really just reminded me, struck a chord with how I'm feeling lately. You know, because I've been yelling about this issue for, what, the past year or two? Just constantly posting, and gosh, I've talked to hundreds of people in real life. Easily. Hundreds. Um, and with me always bringing up the issue first. You know, I'm aware it's a hyper object. I'm aware there's some terminology to it. But at the very least... It's common knowledge now. We all feel it. It's on mainstream media. Hell, there was a goddamn movie with Academy Award winning actors and actresses in it that most people have seen. And so what I want to do in this video is just kind of put a, a visual pie chart in your brain of my experience and my conclusion with how fucked we are, really. Because I've spoken in great length already about people being just stupid they can't they don't have the intelligence quotient to even conceptualize advanced science you know course they just they don't have the memory proficiency working skills and i and i and i sort of give these people a pass and they're like they're like 33 percent of the population they're they're a big chunk of the population is just straight up inadequate you know and i you know as much as i sound like a humanitarian and i do want to help those in trouble when i see them I want to say on the whole, the other 66% of 60% of people, let's say 60% of people are, let me quote what my patron said, they're just straight up too self-absorbed and too ignorant. They don't even register. They don't even register what you're telling them. Like it's like they've heard it before, but they don't even, it doesn't even compute in their head. It, they, their eyes glaze over. So most people are just parasitic worms. You know, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe this is going to sound super arrogant. But I'm serious. Everyone. Uh, P Penguin Zoe. Louis Rossman. Um, I can just keep going with these stupid YouTubers. They're all lies. They're all idiot. They're bullshit. They're just talking bullshit. They're worm trash. They're parasitic fucking worms. When can I get my dick wet? Or when can I get my pizza? When can I get my phone? Literally, when can I drive my truck? Vroom, go faster. That's literally all people care about. It's just getting ahead, paying their bills. You know, there's so there's like 90% of people are just completely fucking checked out. Completely checked out. And like I, I like I said, I wanted to believe people were higher than they were. Like they were uh, Chris Diella, like especially him. All these stupid comedians getting up on stage, like doing this, like mini show documenting their life like shut the fuck up dude it's so outrageous it's so outrageous that it's it's common knowledge now we know and like and, and i don't want to think that i'm above other people but i'm going to finally say it they're fucking beneath me like 60 percent of people are fucking beneath me okay they're just worm trash parasites fucking worthless and it's come now to this point now where if I come up to somebody 
and we don't have a conversation about the climate emergency, the hyperobject itself, anything to do with it in the first 10 to 20 minutes of intentional conversation, not the kind of pass and go, thank you, hold open the door. You know, if we are intentionally trying to connect and they don't bring up like I do, the climate emergency within the first 10, 20 minutes, like we should be doing as fucking citizens of this planet, then they're fucking worm trash. They're trash. Parasitic worm. I mean, get out of my face. Get out of my face. Like now is the time. I'm not, I'm not, being, any pa- I'm not being patient any longer with people. But I, I needed to get this off my chest. Most people are parasitic worm trash. Completely worthless. There's no reason, it's no longer a reason to sit to claim ignorance and say you didn't know. No, you do your civic and civil duty and look up the state of the planet or at least just take a look around you. Like I said, most people just want to get their ends met and then there's another portion that literally too stupid. And there's like 1% of us that actually put the pieces together, actually see what's coming in its scientific Validity in its scientific analysis. We're doomed. It is 100% going to be some Mad Max level shit soon. Okay. Thanks for letting me vent. Hopefully I get this sweet kitty. And it'll be a therapeutic thing. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.